Hey everyone, just got V9. I'm gonna uh, do my first test drive with it and show you all the new features, primarily the navigation and the display of cars around the vehicle. So uh, here we go. So I'm dying to see uh, the, this area, how it has changed in V9. Let's see how it identifies cars, trucks, and different vehicles. The lines are much more narrow, substantially Right, let's try autopilot here. Really, uh, big difference in how narrow the lines are. The car coming up behind me, and let's see if it shows up. There it goes. <laughs> My first new car identification. Jumps around a little. And it uh, didn't show up until the car got real close. Let's see if they show up. So yeah, there they go. And it identifies this car as a truck. Interesting. Look at all the cars behind me. It's a little confused there. So I have a truck to my left and a car behind me. And that's what's uh, really there. Okay, got another car coming up on my left. Yeah, there's the. Uh, it wouldn't allow me to make that turn. Then it did uh, go to uh, turn after the car passed. That was pretty cool. Another car coming up from behind. He is in my blind spot. Wouldn't turn after the car passes and then turns. Very cool. Uh, much brighter here and the lines are thinner. Very interesting how much thinner they are. Now I got a car coming up on my right. Uh, let's see if the uh, it's in my blind spot. Yep. So both sides and then it turns. Nice. Let's check out uh, the car uh, identification. I've got uh, a light truck. Yeah, see how it, uh, it identified that a little different than a car. It's a light truck and now a van. Two vans are coming past. get this uh, car in my blind spot and put on my blinker. So I've got them. Oh no, that's good. So the blind spot indicator, uh, red line, shows uh, even if I'm not in autopilot. Got some uh, merge traffic here. I'm curious how that shows up. Picking up, uh, yeah, I just picked up that car that's going to merge in front of me. I would have liked to have been in autopilot to see how that works, but it's so cool seeing truck cars all around you. Okay, I've got a truck behind me. So the SUV was identified as a larger truck. SUVs are identified as larger trucks. Okay, here comes a truck with a, uh, a trailer. I'm curious how it shows up. <laughs> showed up as two cars there for a minute. Uh, that was interesting. It, it, I thought it was two different uh, vehicles and then I put it together. Okay, I got a big truck on the uh, right here. Not a real huge truck, but definitely uh, bigger than most showing up that way. It's 
really cool when you pass a car, how uh, now it uh, shows it behind you. And then how cars come up from behind you into your uh, dead zone. So I drove around my neighborhood to see if it would pick up people, and here it is. Watch. I'm trying. <laughs> no, I got this new um, software. It's supposed to be able to identify pedestrians. Oh, did it identify me? Oh yeah, there you are. <laughs> You're my first pedestrian. Oh, cool. Is there a picture of a dog? <laughs> no, no, uh, no. Okay. But there's a picture of a person. Oh, that's, that's so cool. So, fun. so what is that? Is it like a GPS? No, uh, uh, Tesla's new thing is that it can identify people that okay. might be walking in front of you. You see the little person? Yeah. No, I see it. So I guess is that like I mean obviously it's not a self-driving but it's kind of on the way to that type yes. of yes 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 yeah right right it just uh, downloaded last night so I'm uh, experimenting with it you're the first person <laughs> uh, can you walk that way <laughs> <laughs> see you oh, that's awesome take care. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see some of my other Model 3 videos, they're here in the top right. And I just created a new channel, Nick's Pickleball Life, for my pickleball adventures. Check it out. If you're interested in purchasing a Tesla, you can use my referral code and get unlimited free supercharging. Uh, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.